Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107. Now you locked in with Reese. Hopefully, at the end of this, I'm gonna have a new friend of the show. We have Miss Nafisa Williams, aka Missy, aka Blackbird. We're gonna get into all that. We're gonna get into all that in the building right now. Looking just outstandingly gorgeous. Hello. Black girl magic just falling all off you. What's up, mama? Thank you. I'm good. I can't complain. I'm happy to be here. Uh, we we in the thick of this press tour for for Black and Blue, mm-hmm. which comes out today and it's nationwide tomorrow. So we need everybody here in Atlanta to go support this film. It is a film for us, made by us, and yes. we're all going to yes. resonate with it. We, we're literally dealing with uh, in the film the issues mm-hmm. as a Black culture that we have to deal with on a daily basis. The split in the divide, exactly. Right. The split in the divide between yes. Black and Blue. Yes. Yes. And um, how it's time for change. Absolutely. I uh, got a, a chance to see the film Tuesday at the premiere nice. here. I was thoroughly impressed. That's what's up. I love the movie. I love what Dion does is directing. You know what I mean? When I saw his work with The Intruder, uh, the way that sometimes you could take things that you might think is, uh, oh, I know what's about to happen in the movie. Exactly. They might have a little twist or they might make fun of that. Right. Yeah, I had a perfect mix of that during this film. That's what's up. Yeah, no, it's a it's a film with an amazing message. But it's also fun. If you if you if you're into thrillers, if you love action, our film is gonna take you on a, a roller ride. coaster ride. Like and I was you, I was trying to potty. Right. I couldn't find a break. Like, I couldn't I find can't, a way to go. You don't wanna you can't blink your eyes because nah. you're gonna miss something. Yep. And it takes you on this amazing, amazing ride. Um, and it's fun. It's right. the best part for me and for all of us is to watch it with the audience and you're literally talking to the screen yeah. and you're like, No girl, don't don't do it. <laughs> you're screaming. Yeah. You you hate some of the characters, which is amazing. Like yours. I didn't like your you character. Didn't like I, my, I was but, mad but, at but you. But at the end you did. Yeah, I love that of at course, the end, but through the whole I was like and I wanna just ask you a question. Yes. Cause I'm about to call defects on you right <laughs> now. Your son was at the house the whole movie. <laughs> and Philly, we it's called DHS. Right, DHS. Don't call right. Them on me. <laughs> we not go. You, you know, it's just she's a single, a single black mother, uh, just trying to survive in the ghetto. Yeah, I can and, say that. I can you know, that. there are a lot of women who are gonna see my character and, and they're gonna to relate. relate to her. Mm-hmm. And I feel like as an artist, it's my duty to to play a plethora of characters, not yeah. just to play a character who's always got it together. Yeah. Because there are, you know, a world of other people who mm-hmm. need those different characters, those, those characters who are very real. Yeah. And who may come off as if they're, you know, difficult, mm-hmm. angry, or bitter. But well, you pulled off angry, boy. You know, this you, the life you, of I was a, like, ooh, I don't want to meet her in real life. But her. I, I watch Black Lightning, too. Right. So I get like, I see the mix. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'll follow you on social media. And I was Thank like, you. you like real cool and bubbly. No, I'm mad cool. Like the yeah. homies, the guys love me. The girls love me. You're the John. You I'm know what I'm saying? John. I'm the one you want to party with. I'm the fun friend. I'm right. the... You know, I'm the one that you're going to have a good time with, and we're going to dance. I'm going to make you laugh. Right. And so, you broke the internet. When? With your outfit at what the I premiere. Do? The black outfit. <laughs> you definitely broke the internet. I was like, I don't know what she's trying to prove, but she proved it. No, right. playing dress up is one of my favorite things ever. So when I get a press tour, it's an excuse to like okay. cut all I the see way you up. now. You like a fashionista. I Thank love it. You. I love it. Right Thank now, we're kicking it with Nafisa Williams. We're talking about her role as Missy and Black and Blue. And uh, man, so the, the arc of this film, you got like, you got. These different characters, yeah. and you don't get the backstory, right? But you see that they have a history. Exactly. Did they give you like their backstory beforehand? Yeah, me and Dion, we fully fleshed out the character and gave her uh, a great backstory before okay. we started the film. And um, they are childhood best friends who you know those friends who you once had everything in common right. with, and you grow up, and sometimes you grow Thanks, apart, change, yeah. and you see the differences in the choices that my character and Naomi Harris character yeah. plays, and the consequences that that Some that the they choices. are dealing with as a result of them, mm-hmm. good or bad. Right. Um. So it's 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 interesting to see how even in the end of it, without us giving away too much, right. how because I know, want y'all to go see because I come, I like enjoyed this movie. Yeah, yeah, and in the end, it's it's a beautiful moment, uh, with them too, which mm-hmm. is one of my favorite parts of the movie. And without giving away too much, you guys got to go out today. <laughs> Or tomorrow. Or this just weekend. Do me a just favor go and see. Just go at some point this weekend between today and Sunday to see this film and to support this film and have fun. I'm going to send you to a, a, a movie that you're going to go on a roller coaster ride and have an amazing time. This is not a boring movie. This right. is not a, a movie with just a message, which listen, is cool. Listen, if you have, if you are the person that needs to get up in the middle of the movie to go get snacks or go to the bathroom, please do it before you go in because yeah. you will not have the time during a movie. 
Because if you miss something, you it's over with. No, you can't. And then you're like two on the edge of your seat. Like, do I get up? You, you, the suspense <laughs> is crazy. For real. And yeah. you miss something and you miss the whole movie. Exactly. Now you got to go see it twice. Well, exactly. that actually might work for your benefit. Right. <laughs> actually get up and miss something and then have to go back the next day. What part of the script, like, grabbed you to made you want to be part of this film? Or did you come in to do a different role? Because I know your background is, like, criminal justice. Yeah. Then you a superhero on yeah. one side. Now you the, now you the person creating the crime. <laughs> <laughs> I think as an artist, that was the beautiful thing for me. I literally found out that I got this movie the day we were wrapping up Black Lightning season two. So I went mm. three weeks after after we wrapped Black Lightning. Yeah, I, was, I went to New Orleans, met up with Dion and the rest of the cast, and we started on this film. Wow. But the interesting thing, and, and what I, I can speak for most artists, I'm sure, when I say this, is that we don't want to always play the same role, right, the right, same right. kind of characters. So for me, it was like, okay, here I am playing Thunder, Black mm-hmm. Bird, and she's she's saving the people right. in the ghetto. And this character, she kind of needs some saving. She needs some saving. So it's cool to just to dive into, you know, who Missy is yeah. and, and just get into her world. I loved it because I didn't see your other characters in this. Mm. Like, I loved it. Like, I yeah. didn't see the soap characters. I didn't see the, I did, yeah, you. I didn't see it. I saw a different Nafisa. Like, I was like, oh, that's the hood chick I would probably talk to. No, you know exactly. what I'm saying? If I was the in the hood. The hood chick that you love. Like, the I hood love, chick that's yeah. going to be loyal. The hood chick that's going to keep right. it real. Um, and, and that was, you know, it was really easy for me to, you know, just pull from my experiences as growing up in Philly. That's mm-hmm. all I had to do was go back to those moments of being in the hood and right. being, you know, uh, present when you see encounters with mm-hmm. police, whether it be my friends or just people who yeah. I grew up with. You pull them feelings you, back yeah, out. and you pull all and, yeah. of that and throw it all into the film. And, right. you know, emotionally, it was, you know, I, it was an outlet for me. Mm-hmm. You know, we're scrolling through our timeline and we're becoming dis- 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 yeah, desensitized. De- and detached from and what's detached going on. And detached from what's, yeah. what's really happening. So for me, it was it was therapeutic and it was it was a beautiful outlet for me to let all of those emotions out, you know, making sure that I'm a voice for Sandra Bland and making yeah. sure that I'm a voice for for Trayvon and, and Eric Garner um, because they don't have a voice anymore. Absolutely. And as an artist, that's my duty to do that. I love that you're using your platform for something bigger than yourself. You go ahead, girl. Oh, I see you. Thank you. I just have one question. Yes. You and Michael Coulter with these muscles, what kind of workouts are y'all doing? <laughs> like, these superhero muscles is coming across. Y'all doing the hood Man, rolls. And, come on now. They told me I was playing a superhero, and I started... <laughs> working out like a a crazy person Mm. um but you know for me working out is is more than just about looking a certain way i believe that is you know for my health you know what i mean my mindset it helps me mentally Mm. um and i believe we fight off a lot of just sickness and illnesses when we keep our body together so it's is is really important to me my 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 workout i love it now this movie seems super intense like you just talked about but when this goes cut and y'all rapping uh, in between shoots and scenes who was having the most fun on set Oh, uh, or was it Mike, just everybody? Mike Coulter is the biggest clown of all of us. I, I, I think I can't even imagine that with his character really? being like that. Yeah, no, 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 he's the jokester. <laughs> um, and then Dion's energy is so just. Man, listen, I interviewed Amazing. him for Intruder, right. and we kicked it afterwards. Dude is, he's a genius, but he is, like, his energy is just His energy boom, is, boom, on, boom. is on lit, and, yeah. and it's, 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 uh, it's contagious. That's great. And yeah. it's amazing for whatever the vibe of your director is, mm-hmm. that's going to set the tone for your set. I got you. You know what I mean? So it trickles down from the top. So if you got a, a, a cool-ass director with mm-hmm. great energy and, you know, Giving, giving that over to us as actors. It's going to be hard to have to be the like the butthead on us. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> I got you. We kicking it with a piece of ways right now. Uh, season three is coming up. Season three is happening right now. Right the, now. The third episode of season three just aired this past Monday. So if you are not caught up on Black Lightning, please do so. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful yeah. to be telling these kind of stories. I tell everybody, I, I try to pick my roles Um Based on if the script is is the film or is the project going to help us shift the culture forward, gotcha. you know, playing the first black lesbian superhero, being in the film with Naomi being the first black female officer yes. who's leading a movie. These yes. we're breaking barriers. You better talk about them barriers. You yeah, breaking no, girl, we, I see. <laughs> we're breaking <laughs> barriers, and it's our duty to make sure that the the artists behind us have it easier than what we do as the people whose shoulders we stand on. Got you. Did you feel that pressure being that what you just said, the first black lesbian suit? That's a long. Title superhero woman. You know what? 
No, I just felt like if I go in and I tell the the truth and mm-hmm. and, and make sure the foundation of my character represented love, mm-hmm. then I'd be okay. I got you. I love yeah. that. You you should make some t shirts after this. I like that. Make you know sure you what? represent love. There I see you. you. All there right, listen. This is my fast five. I know you on time restrictions. And I got to get you to one of these lit restaurants out here. I'm hungry. I got you. She's hungry. (laughs) All right. So listen, these are my fast five questions. All right. If you could pick any superpower in real life, what would it be? Oh, man. Flight. Okay. Yeah. Time is of the essence. And I don't have a lot of it these (laughs) days. So if I can get back and forth from Cali to Philly and grab me a cheesesteak and come back to ATL. Although I got to shout out Big Dave's. They have the best cheesesteaks here in Atlanta. Um, and I don't eat meat anymore. I only gotcha. do salmon. They have a bomb salmon cheese they gotta steak. T- I need to do that because I don't eat meat either. So, yeah. Salmon, the salmon cheese that. steak? Okay. I'm from Philly. I'm telling you. Right. I'm from Jersey, so it's I get legit. it. Oh, yeah. so you get it? Yeah, I, get, I definitely get it. Trust me when I tell you. It's, right. it's authentic. All right, so if it's trash, I'm going to troll you it's on not gonna IG. It's trash. <laughs> All right, so this is personal. What is the craziest DM you ever got? The craziest DM that I ever got? Ooh, I don't know. There's a lot of them. I, I can imagine. I don't open up all of them. <laughs> You're not supposed to. Yeah, no. I, I, the craziest that I've got, I don't know about the craziest. Okay, all right. We're going to leave that to uh to the, our imagination. Yeah, leave it to your imagination. Right. That's, what's that? that's a good one. <laughs> I have terrible imagination. All right, what's your dream movie or TV role? Like a character or a person, if you were to do a biopic or something, like what would be your dream role? I would love to tell the story of Diana Ross. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't I expect comedy. that at all. Comedy. Yeah, okay. and I love comedy. So I've been doing a lot of drama in my career, and I, yeah. I think it's time to let the world know that I got a, I got a fun I have funny in me. Okay. What's your best joke? I'm joking. That no, was that was like that. I put you on the spot. <laughs> Do you funny, funny how? And I was like, <laughs> all right, cool. What is your top three favorite movies and TV shows? Okay, so we got to start with Martin. Okay. That's like my all-time favorite TV show. Look at us being best friends already. Right. It's the best TV <laughs> show ever to me. Um, If we're going with movies, I really love The Departed. That's one of my favorite, favorite movies. It's hard with movies because I have so many right. good ones. It depends on what genre we're talking about. All right, so so give I, me a comedy since you a comedy movie since you said 